Hey everyone, welcome to my first video and today I'm going to be working on a monowheel and what a, normally what a monowheel is, it's like one of those big motorcycles but instead of the two wheel, it's going to be the one wheel We sit inside of the wheel and that's going to be a little interesting to build so I guess we can go ahead and get started with it well, I just started making this, the, um, the outer rim for the tire what the tire's gonna go on, and I just finished that. So this is what we got. I got the, I mean, to suppose that I have, they weren't gonna be big enough, long enough, I, I guess I could say. So I kinda had to get two of them, so I had to make two. And then now, we got two separate poles, and then now I'm gonna weld them together to make this one big circle. Well, I just finished making a wheel, and this is what we got. Got this pretty much big giant wheel right here. So now we're just gonna test it out and see if it rolls. Just finished kind of designing the frame on kind of what I want to what I want it to look like. And I think it's gonna come out pretty nicely if everything goes according to plan at least. But this is kind of what I got, what I kind of what I, what I want it to look like pretty much. Uh, here goes the basics of the design of what I kind of go for. How you see, kind of at the front with the handlebar where the gas tank and battery is going to go, and then you got the engine, and then that mallet is kind of going to simulate where it, the sprocket is going to go, and that's why I have the chain right there. And so, this is kind of what we're going to work with, see how well this goes. I just finished making a double loop. Well, not really a double loop, but I just finished making the second part of the frame where I'm gonna put the actual wheel around it. So this is kind of what I got going so going so far. I got this big, just made both so far. So right now, I'm just gonna be welding them together with these little brackets right here. Welding them well together right here. I'm gonna put them all around. One, one right there. And then I'm gonna put one down here, right around here. And then the other one is, and the other one is 
right here. And I'm pretty much be putting them all around the frame. And then we're going to see how well that works out. Uh, I just finished building the exterior frame for it. And then now I'm about to start making the engine mount. And I'm going to show you what I got so far. So. So this is what I got so far for the exterior frame. I just finished making the little brackets for where the engine mount is going to be. So I'm about to go ahead and start making the engine mount and we're going to see how well that works out. I just finished making the engine mounts for where the engine's supposed to be and while I've been working on that I just been working on how the handlebar is gonna be and where the gas tank's supposed to be so I'm gonna show you what I got so far on that so, right here is what a handlebar is gonna be and this is where the gas tank's gonna be but I'm not sure about keeping this gas tank though I'm thinking about probably make just making my own gas my own fiberglass gas tank cuz I really don't like this one it seems a little too small for what I'm trying to do it just doesn't fit the whole design of what I'm trying to go at because the whole design I'm trying to go for is kind of like a whole Tron style with the, with the with you lean forward and everything so yeah, this, this is the whole style for what I got so far the engine's is gonna be sitting down there and then the whole just kind of just sloped and slanted where you're gonna be leaning forward and everything so, but for the seat I'm kind of contemplating on what I'm gonna do with the seat because right now like right here, it's kind of just slanted downward, and it's fine for what it, the way it is. But I don't know if you just want to slide it down, or just I'm thinking, thinking about going for like right right there where that black mark is, I'm going down somewhere around here, and seeing what I'm gonna do with that, and see if the seat kind of fits that. Because I'm not I'm not really liking to just just straight slant it down because you're gonna be sliding down, you're gonna be riding. That's not really fun really you don't want to slide off but I just um, got the engine installed and right now I'm about to go ahead and start wiring it because I got the battery charging right now but I'm going to go ahead and start wiring it and we're going to see if it runs well, I just got everything wired on it and I get, we're just about to test run the engine and see if everything works so let's see what we got Now that I finally got the engine running, now I'm going to start working on the seat 
and we're gonna see where the seat's gonna be and how we're gonna be working with the seat. So, what I got. well, I just finished making the seat. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the seat. It's more or less because of the way it looks right now. But I think for my first job of making a seat, I think I did pretty good at doing it. But like for a guy who has no knowledge in like an upholstery or just any kind of seat design whatsoever, but I think I did pretty good. This is what my seat looks like. Just a little, just a little basic seat, and I just got a little piece of wood underneath, and I got some foam inside, and I got a little bit of um, marina upholstery I put right here, so I can like withstand the weather. But for the most part, I think I did pretty good. Cause I have no knowledge in upholstery, but it doesn't look that bad.